Hello, I'm Mimi. I'm a self-taught digital artist and I'm here to help you develop your own art style, whether it's just for fun or you want to build a career as an artist. So if you feel like you don't have an art style or it's just not quite there yet, then I've got four tips plus one cheeky shortcut that will help you develop your art style as a digital artist. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that later. Now I always caveat these videos by saying that you don't need a set art style and you can absolutely just make the art you want to make. So don't feel pressured to nail down your style if you don't want to, but if you do want to focus on your style a bit more, then I have some handy tips for you. Tip number one is to start small. It's tempting to want to be able to draw like your favorite experienced artist straight away, but the chances are they've spent years developing their art style. So if you're just starting out, let's aim a little smaller just to begin with. Wherever your technical art skills are right now, you can still have an art style and that style can develop over time as your technical skills grow. When I decided that I wanted to learn digital art, I didn't have the skills that I needed yet, but I could still use the skills that I did have for my art style. I had certain colors that I liked and techniques and tools that I would use that all helped my art feel fairly cohesive and like the same artist had drawn them. I started out drawing super simple things until my technical skills developed enough to illustrate the things that I wanted to and my art style could develop along with my new skills. Wherever your art skills are at right now, you can still have a style of your own even if it's just one chapter on the way to your dream style. The path to get to big dreams starts small so don't be discouraged if you're starting from square one because we all start small and grow with practice. That brings me to the second tip, which is draw a lot. We learn and grow as artists by doing and practicing. So if you want to develop your art style, then draw as much as you have time for. Grab the closest bit of scrap paper to you right now while you're watching this video and start doodling something. Just start drawing and creating and make it part of your lifestyle because the more you can draw, the more opportunities you have to learn new skills, new techniques, and what you personally do and don't like. It doesn't matter if it's good and it's okay if you'd rather that nobody ever sees it because you learn more from every weird, not quite right thing that you draw than you do from the beautiful pieces that just turn out perfect the first time. To develop my own digital art style, I had to remove all of the expectations that what I was going to draw was going to be very good and just embrace the journey of drawing it and all the things that I learned along the way. I think that's the main reason that I was able to draw every weekday, aside from having the time available of course, because I knew that it was okay if it looked a bit silly since that was part of the process for learning to be able to draw the way that I wanted to. And if you draw often, then there's always going to be another opportunity coming up soon to draw something that you like better. If you'd like some guidance with your creativity and art skills, then I want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with lots of great classes for creative people like us to help us learn all sorts of things like how to use drawing software, build an art career or improve our confidence. I really like this sweet class called Think Like an Artist, Cultivate Your Creativity by Christina Holtkrantz because she shows us that creativity is something that can be cultivated and learned and takes us through activities to help us with creative ideas. It's a class that beginner and experienced artists can enjoy and she just has a really lovely approach. If you'd like to watch this class for free, then the first 1000 people to use my link in my description will get an entire one month free trial of Skillshare so you can try it for yourself and to help you get the maximum benefit from your free trial, I've personally curated a list of classes that I've watched and think are really helpful. So give these classes a go with your free trial and let me know what you think. Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, let's get back to the tips. Tip number three is to try new things. Get out of your creative comfort zone and challenge yourself to draw new things so that you can find out who you are as an artist. It can be a bit scary, but we're all on a learning journey. So embrace the not knowing and explore something that's new to you because I think that's where the real treasure is. 
You could join drawing challenges, take on random prompts, try using a set of colors that you've never used before. There are lots of ways to introduce a challenge into your creative practice. And it doesn't have to be all the time. You could just try something new, maybe a quarter of the time and see how you go. I joined lots of drawing challenges on Instagram when I started out because they're a great way to try new things, but also build community and see what everyone else has drawn. Some ideas for things that you could experiment with to develop your art style are trying a different brush set, drawing with or without outlines, characters, backgrounds, a new color palette, a composition you've never tried, or a different theme or environment. And my fourth tip is to find some brushes that you really like. A crucial part of a digital artist toolkit is the brushes that we use. So find some brushes that you really like and feel comfortable using. Your digital art software should come with some free brushes already installed, or a lot of artists make their own brushes and make them available for others to buy and use like I do with my two texture brush packs. Some brushes have a lot of texture, some brushes don't. Some are really painterly and some are quite rigid. So the brushes that you make your art with really impact the overall look and feel of your art and will also impact how you draw with them. So try lots of different brushes out. When you've found some that you like, then you can settle on a few of your favorites. And once you start drawing with the same selection of brushes a lot of the time, it'll help give your artwork a really distinct style. Now I do also have one more thing to share with you, which is the shortcut. This is a cheeky trick if you want to speed up the process of looking like you have a strong art style to the outside world, which can be useful if you're trying to build an audience online or develop a portfolio of work. Choose a color palette, brush set or theme for your art and make all of your public facing art with that and it'll immediately help your art feel more cohesive. That contradicts a lot of what I just said before about experimenting, and I don't think you should stop experimenting at all if you want to improve your skills, but if you at least keep one or two key things about your art the same, it'll bring your art together immediately. The more things that feel cohesive about your style, the stronger it will feel, but we want to keep experimenting, so really just having a couple of things that stay the same is enough to take a bit of a shortcut. I used to use the same small set of colors for a lot of my art, even though I was still figuring out what my art style was, and I would only really slowly change that color palette over time, and it meant that even if all of my drawings were different, they felt like they belonged together. It's a bit of a shortcut to looking like your art belongs together and has a strong style at a glance, but it gives you room to try new things in other areas still. I do think that keeping the same color palette is particularly effective at this, but you could also keep other elements the same to have a similar shortcut. For you, you might choose to keep your theme always the same, so maybe you always draw witchy, magical illustrations with a limited palette. Or maybe you always draw plants and flowers using the same brush set. If you keep a couple of things the same, then your art will be more recognizable as you develop the rest of your style. So let us know in the comments how you feel about your art style and I hope you found the tips in this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.